Hello everyone and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this 1st of October in our ordinary season and today we celebrate the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus and I'll say a bit more about St. Therese uh, after our Gospel today. So let's begin our time of prayer together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Luke and it's chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. And our gospel today is in relation to the mission of the 72 disciples. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is put before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not make you welcome, go out into its streets and say, we wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is very near. I tell you, on that day, it will not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, as I mentioned, we celebrate the memorial we celebrate the life of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Now, Therese uh, is very well known to us. Uh, the relics of St. Therese visited our parish uh, not all that long ago, along with the relics of her parents. And so with this in mind, Therese was born in Alcenon in France on the 2nd of January, 1873. Her mother died when she was four and the family moved to Lazur. And at the age of 15, despite the prioress at the time saying that she was too young, Therese became a Carmelite nun. And having done so at the age of 15, at the age of 24, sadly, she passed away due to tuberculosis. In 1895, the prioress of the order ordered Therese to write her memoirs up until that point in time. And Therese did this and presented them to the prioress, who put them in a drawer unread. A year after her death, Therese's memoir was published. And it was from there that miracles started to happen, conversions, cures, and even a few apparitions. And because of that, the movement grew for her 
to become a saint. And so she was canonized a saint in 1925. Her parents, who I mentioned earlier, were also canonized in 2015. And so today, as we celebrate the life of Saint Therese, as we celebrate her memorial, we ask that all the intentions we have, that she pray for us, and we have her intercession with our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.